Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I have here are two variations of the, uh, the naloxone here. Um, there are three different forms of naloxone that I know of. Um, this is the most, the basic form, I guess you could call it. This kit has two syringes in it. Two of these in here. And they're empty. And in this bag are the actual doses. Two little bottles that you would normally use. You know, you fill them up. If you know how to do that, I can't unfortunately open this up. But you would um, take the cap off the needle, insert the needle, pull back the plunger, and this would fill with naloxone. And then you would take it, and, and actually I have a syringe here, no material in it. You must inject the naloxone in the arm muscle, in the upper arm, the thigh muscle, or the upper buttock. And the needle is quite large on the naloxone, and mine is pretty much the equivalent size. That's because it has to get into the muscle. So if you're dealing with somebody who's heavier, you may not be able to get into the muscle unless you have a long needle. So you would inject, plunge, pull it out. Now you should see a reaction, uh, a revival of the person within two to three minutes. If you don't, then you take your and administer the second dose. What can happen after you administer the first dose is that the person can seem fine, but then they relapse again. So that's why it's really important that you call 911 right away, even if they seem like they've come out of the overdose. Um, after you've administered two doses, that's pretty much all you can do as an individual. You've got to wait for the rescue squad to get there. If you have to, you can start rescue breathing, uh, giving rescue breaths to the person that until 911 comes. Now, uh, naloxone also comes in an injector, which is really cool. This is an auto injector. This was approved for use in 2014. I can't open this kit, but what this kit contains are two real doses similar to this cartridge. They're purple and yellow, the real ones are. There's also a trainer in there, like I have here. And what's neat about these is they will talk you through the process. So if you're panicking, or if you are the person who is overdosing and you feel like you're beginning to overdose, you can hopefully inject yourself. So what you do is... This trainer contains no needle or drug. If you are ready to use, pull off to inject. Place black end against outer thigh. Then press firmly and hold in place. the trainer so the, the this trainer may be reused for training purposes the verbiage will be different on the actual one it'll tell you what to do same thing see a reversal the person reviving within two to three minutes if they don't you hit them with the second dose of this and again after the second dose if they still relapse you want to begin rescue breathing now there's a third form of naloxone that I don't have yet um, the North Carolina Harm Reduction Coalition just got some and got, a, uh, got some money to purchase some. Um, it's similar to the syringe, but instead of the needle, whoops, there is a foam tip on the end. And I believe there's a cartridge that drops inside that you pierce when you plunge it. And you place it in the nostril, and it's a nasal spray. And again, there, I believe there are two doses in that kit as well. Um, now, let me back up. What I forgot to say is, <coughs> before you administer an naloxone, if you've come upon somebody you have reason suspect, to suspect that is an overdose, you do want to try to revive them first. You'll take your knuckles and do what's called a, a sternal <coughs> the breastbone, and that hurts. Revive them. You know, they're pretty much you know, need, in need of naloxone. They may <coughs> wake up. But again, you're still going to call 911. What's really good about naloxone is, it's not narcotic. It won't hurt you. If you've made a mistake and that person is not actually overdosing, you're not going to hurt them. I could inject myself with everything I've got in this box right now, and it's not going to do a thing to me. Um, 
And uh, that's, that's pretty much it.